past few weeks, my team and I have been working on a couple of residential solar systems, ranging from brand new installations to diagnosing and correcting issues with existing ones. In this video, I'll walk you through some of these projects. Let's begin with a 20 kilowatt system at Nungwa within the Greater Estate. This system consisted of 36 pieces of 560 watt monocrystalline panels, totaling 20.16 kilowatts, two 11 kilowatt hybrid inverters, paralleled for a total of 22 kilowatts, two 10 kilowatt hours lithium ion phosphate batteries, giving 20 kilowatt hours of storage. Now, this system had already been installed by another team just a few days before I was called in. Unfortunately, the owner was experiencing issues and after taking a look, oh boy, there were quite a number of mistakes that needed correcting. 1. No surge protection devices on the panels. 2. No secondary DC isolators or breakers for the batteries. 3. Wrong type of cable for the AC output that is 4mm DC cable instead of 16mm AC cable. 4. Poorly jointed 25mm battery cables hidden inside the trunk and then 5. No earthen for inverters or batteries and then finally 6. No BMS cables installed. Clearly, this system was not safe nor reliable. I presented a proper solution and a budget to the owner. He hesitated at first but after explaining why each fix was necessary, he eventually approved. So here's what we did. We started off by adding new breaker box, a larger one, as well as a larger trunk and, and then installed four SPDs for each array of the panel since the inverter uh, comes each comes with um, two MPPT charge controllers. So we installed four SPDs for each array of the panels. Then we replaced the 4mm AC cable with a proper um, 16mm AC cable. So it was 4mm DC cable instead that they had used. So we replaced that with a 16mm um, AC cable. Then we went ahead to change the 25mm um, battery cables that had been jointed together to a 35mm continuous cable, no joints. And then we installed um, secondary isolators for each battery. Yes. And then um, went ahead to also install the um, BMS cable from the inverter to the battery so they are able to communicate. And then finally, we grounded the SPDs, inverters, and then batteries. The whole project took about eight hours to complete because we had to spend time tracing cables, fetching extra materials, and then configuring the inverter. So that's just about it for that project. Next, another project within Greater Estate, a 6 kilowatt hybrid solar system. The client had very specific requirements, I must say. So one of them was 6 kilowatt hybrid inverter. The second one was a 10 kilowatt hours um, lithium ion battery, then um, 10 kilowatt panel capacity, and then an ability to monitor the system remotely, as well as um, solar as first priority, battery second, and then finally grid as last priority. So after visiting the site, um, we came to a conclusion, that is myself and then the owner, to begin with a 6 kilowatt hybrid inverter, 5 kilowatt, lit 5 kilowatt hours um, lithium ion battery, and then 3.7 kilowatt of panels with room to upgrade later. Now the owner being an engineer had done some research and wanted proof that I could deliver. So I showed him a live monitoring system of my own um, setup, solar setup um, through the app and that was actually convincing to him. So he actually gave us the work to um, get it done for him. So all the equipment was sourced from Sansam Solar, who is the sponsor of this video. Sansam provides inverters, batteries, panels, and all solar accessories with solid warranty. So if you intend to have any solar system or solar projects done, look no further. Kindly go to Sansam Solar. He's going to get you or they are going to get you sorted with all the, your solar needs. So if you ever purchase from them, try to mention my name for possible discounts. Now back to the video. So for this project, we installed SRNE 6 kilowatt hybrid inverter with dual MPPT that is input uh, as well as uh, input for grid and then also support generator support. 
then um, an SRNE 5 kilowatt hours um, lithium-ion phosphate battery with 6,000 cycles, inbuilt Bluetooth and Wi-Fi features. Then six pieces of 620 uh, watt monocrystalline panels, plus all necessary accessories that is rails, trunking, SPDs, isolators, breaker boxes, ATS that is automatic uh, transfer switch, as well as um, all the other necessary accessories. The installation took two days. We set uh, the system priorities just as you know, specified by the owner, being um, solar as first priority, then the battery as next priority, and then finally the grid, should in case the battery runs out, especially um, at night. Then we also configured the app on the client phone for real-time monitoring of the system. I must say the owner was extremely satisfied um, with the project and as after using it for some few weeks he later requested for an upgrade to the panel as well as the battery so for as it stays now we've added two more panels to the um, six pieces of panels making eight pieces in total and then we've also added one more five kilowatt battery um, to the existing five kilowatt hours battery so making a total of 10 kilowatt hours of, of battery storage and then also um 620 by um eight pieces giving us close to about five kilowatt um panel uh, capacity so that is it for this project in a nutshell finally um, a project at ijumako in the central region this system included five pieces of 585 um, watts monocrystalline panels, 10 kilowatt hybrid inverter, then 10 kilowatt hours um, lithium ion battery. So the client was based in the US. He had already purchased the system and wanted it installed. I traveled to Ijumako to assess the site and then also did some recommendations for additional accessories uh, such as rails, clamps, isolators, SPDs and cables that would be needed. During the installation, I must say it wasn't easy because the roof was very steep and we had some rains that delayed the panel mountain. So we started indoors, setting up the inverter, routing cables, installing isolators, SPDs and the battery. We stayed overnight and then completed the installation the next day. The system was then configured with priorities that is solar as first priority, grid next priority and then battery as last priority since the house had heavy loads and the battery capacity wasn't enough to sustain night usage when the client later returned from us he went to see the system and i must say he was very happy because he also had you know um, contact other people to come have a look at it but he realized they weren't capable of uh, providing what he wanted now here are some few takeaways from some of these projects or solar systems that we've done i must say that Many homes have serious electrical issues, such as wrong cable sizes, poor terminations, no proper earthing, overloaded circuits, among others. And these mistakes are common causes of fires. So if you are watching this video, it may be time to have your electrical system audited by a professional. Safety should always come first. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you found it um, very useful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, for all your solar needs, don't forget to hit Sansam up. Their contact details are going to be in the description of the video as well as on the video. So you're able to get um, um, in contact with them. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.